Thanks for joining us for the Peddler's Train. It's a drop hop sale hosted by Martha of Vintage Conversation. Gosh, if you're not following her, head on over. What are you waiting for? She's a great channel. Also, Tammy um, of Vintage Uprising Texas. Both uh, great, great people to follow. Um, my name is Lori Ann, and I am with Sugar Bridge's Sweet Ass Stuff. Um, we ship from Northwest Ohio. We also use PayPal and Pirate Ship. Um, to ship items out. If you're not following me, I sure would appreciate it if you would. Um, we do ship out um, after you pay pretty quickly. Um, you will need to send me your information if you've never bought from me before. And my email is sweetadeline at aol.com. And sweet has three E's in it. It is S-W-E-E-E-T-A-D-O-L-I-N-E -E -E at aol.com. I will try to put that in the comments below. Um, but yes, please send me your information. I'll need your name, YouTube name, your address, and your PayPal email to get you invoiced. Um, we will be invoicing on Sunday, May 19th. The sale will close on Saturday, May 18th. So we'll close the sale on the 18th, and then we'll get you invoiced the following day. Um, and that's when we pack up. Uh, so once you pay, usually your items are shipped out pretty quickly that that week. Um, so please do get your payment um, in on a timely manner so we can get the items shipped out to you. But my goodness, I thank you for joining me. You will claim the items by the number. So I have attached a number to each item. If you're interested in anything, um, please put it in the comments. The first person to claim by the number will win that item. Everything is priced, um, so there won't be any bidding or anything of that matter. It is just a flat price. And you can go ahead and put your bids in, or I'm sorry, your claim it by the number rather than bidding. Um, I will let you know when I finish up here, you will head over to Southern Siren Vintage. Um, she is the next step on the train, but let's go ahead and jump in here. Um, the first item I have is this beautiful cream and sugar. Now this is a Royal Tuscan uh, Bone China in Claridge um, style in pink. It's a sugar and a creamer. It's a beautiful condition here. No chips or cracks. This is the bottom. Um, hopefully it will focus. There it goes. Beautiful condition. It's got that gold detail. It needs a good wiping out there, but it is a pale pink. Usually you will see these in white, but this is the pink version of it here. So this is the sugar. It does have its lid. Beautiful condition on this set. Um, so the vintage cream and sugar set here. Let me push that back so you can see it a little bit. It is the Royal Tuscan Bone China Claridge in pink. It is $20, number 14. So if you're interested in this set here, $20, number 14. Up next, we have a 1970s Hankyu Japan figure. 1970s Hank Yu Japan. She is in perfect condition. Does have some felt on the bottom here. She's a pottery piece here. Super adorable. Um, she does measure mm, probably about six and a half inches tall. She is a neat, a neat little piece. I can't say as I've seen her before. But if you collect pottery, she is a great one for your collection. Again, she's 1970s Hankyu Japan figure. She's $15, number 10. Up next, we have a Boyd's 1950s style bear here with her little poodle. Let me see if we can get her to stand up. There we go. She's got her adorable little poodle there. Um, she does measure about nine inches tall. Um, she is the Bailey Bear. She's a 1950s style. She does come with a stand. 
me turn her around here. She has her tag here as well. Great condition on her. 1950s Boyd's Bailey Bear. She's number 11 for $12. Number 11, 12. We have this cute little gnome sweet home. Gnome sweet gnome, I do apologize. Gnome home sweet home style. Um, I guess it would be, is it cross stitch? It is really cute. Let me show you up close. It's from 1988, it looks like. It has a lightweight red frame on it. Let me show you the back. The back they just sealed with a paper bag here. So it is, it does have a hook to hang it. It measures about 11 inches. by nine, so 11 by nine. This is the Gnome Sweet Gnome, and it is number 13 for $10. Okay, up next, we have this adorable World's Fair fringe pillow cover. World's Fair French, um, French, fringe pillow cover. It is, um, does have some condition issues. This is what it looks like, Chicago. This is from 1934. I'm going to zoom in so you can see it, all the detail on it here. It's got the Hall of Science, the Illinois Host House. is the front of it again from 1934 the back is this beautiful color here and this is what the fringe looks like it's in um, really good condition for its age you might want to spot clean it a bit um, as it does have a stain up here in the corner this 1934 pillow fringe pillow cover is number eight for $15 for the World's Fair We have some fun anthropomorphic pieces here. Let me see if I can tilt you down a bit. There we go. These are anthropomorphic salt and pepper shakers. Um, we have the salt here. She's a fork. She does have her cork. Um, no marking on her. She's probably Japan though. She's very cute. Um, I don't see any damage to her at all. Maybe just a little flea bite up here on um, the very end. You can see maybe just a little bit of paint loss. Um, and then we have Pepper here. He's the spoon. He has his cork. Uh, no marking on him again. Uh, these are probably made in Japan. A cute little set anthropomorphic salt and pepper spoon and fork are $15 and it's number seven number seven okay. we have a Joseph original girl with puppy she is really cute um, and in very good condition She's your classic dark-eyed Joseph um, here, Joseph original. She's got her little puppy. She's in beautiful condition. No chips, no cracks. Um, she is marked on the bottom. Joseph original, you can see it there. No sticker, this is actually carved into the bottom. I, I think that is the older one not 100% sure, but she is quite lovely, and she's got a mint dress on there, decorated in yellow with her little puppy. Very, very cute. 
The Joseph Original Girl with Puppy is number five, and she is $20, number five. Up next, we have a Weller Blue Powder Dish with Parrot. Um, this is a glass jar here. You can see it is painted. It looks like it was originally a clear jar. Um, it does have a painted parrot on the top here. Some lost paint loss there, but still a beautiful piece. Let me show you the inside. So you can tell it was um, painted there on the outside. It's clear on the inside and you can see the bottom. Um, no chips, no cracks on this. Beautiful condition. Little powder dish for your vanity would be quite lovely. Let me show you a close-up of the lid so you can see the parrot there. Some paint loss, but beautiful. And then I'll show you the bottom piece here so you get an idea. Nice little piece, nice little powder dish for your vanity. The Weller Blue Weller Blue Powder Dish with the Painted Parrot is number 12, $15. Up next, we have a fun little glass item here. This is a hand-painted frog. I believe it to be Fenton. Um, however, the sticker is missing, so I can't be 100% sure that it is um, a Fenton piece, but the mold definitely looks like it. Green frog, hand-painted in this gold and cream floral design. This is the back side of him here. And you can see it goes all the way around. He's got... Um, butterflies here on the front. You can see the remnants of the sticker there. Smooth polished bottom here. Beautiful condition on the frog. No chips, no cracks. Lovely condition. It would be a great addition to your um, paperweight collection. I don't believe that he glows, but I, let me check just to be sure. I don't think so. I don't think he's glowing at all, but he sure is beautiful. Um, and this hand-painted glass paperweight frog is number four, $10. Up next, we have a vintage crystal Eiffel Tower. I've had this piece for a long time. It is really gorgeous. Um, I had this out in California. I did have an Eiffel Tower collection, and this was part of my collection. It's etched crystal. Um, it's in beautiful condition. I don't think there's any chips or cracks on this. It does measure. Just over six inches, I would say. About six inches tall. It is a lovely piece. You can see that etched detail in there. Does have some weight to it, uh, but it is a lovely piece. Look at the top of it. The Vintage Crystal Eiffel Tower is $15 and it's number two. $15, number two. This is a unique item. This is actually a twofer, so you're getting the perfume and it's an advertising piece. So this was Enco Happy Motoring. This would have been from a gas station um, back in the day. So this, <clears throat> you're getting the advertising side, but you're also getting the perfume. So these are famous perfumes packaged in nips. And when you open it up, 
there's the nips inside. They are these little glass um, vials of perfume. They're all there. I don't know the scents on them. Let me see if it says. So you basically break them and that's how you get them on, but it doesn't tell me what scent they are. Um, this is a little, a fun little advertising piece here with those nips in there. Um, very cool collectible piece. I've never seen one like this before. So these would have been given out at um, the gas station, I guess. Not really sure. The Enco Perfume in Nips is number six, $20. Right, the next item is a retired Hagen Reniker elephant. Um, kind of a neat little piece here. He is a small elephant. His truck is up and down in this one. I don't show any um, tag or a sticker on him or marking. It looks like there's a remnants of a sticker there, but it is no longer there. He is in beautiful condition, no chips, no cracks. Um, he is a retired piece. About three and a half inches long and maybe two and a half inches tall, I'm guessing, um, pretty close to that. Neat little piece here. Hagen Reniker. If you're a collector, this might be a good one for your collection. The Hagen Reniker Elephant is number nine and it is $10. Up next, we have this beautiful calendar. Um, it is from 1907. There is some wear on it, but you can see show you there is some wear at the top up here where it probably hung on a nail you got some creasing or actually what happened is this is an old calendar and somebody did mount it to keep it um, from breaking so this corner up here is missing and then you see the crease across the bottom but the original calendar is there starting in March of 1907 August Ratke Lager and Export Beer so it is an advertising piece but it's also some neat ephemera when you have the calendar there neat, neat display piece it does measure oops probably about 14 15 inches tall on the calendar there it again is from 1907. 1907. And she is number one, $10. All right. Up next, we have a fun little cross stitch set here. You're going to get eight napkins in the lot eight of them here they're all identical they're a flower basket design let me open one up and show you boy there we go so you can see the detail along the edges I don't believe I saw any um, wear to these at all. They're pressed really nice. That nice flower basket. Again, you're getting eight of them in this lot. Eight beautiful cross stitch napkins, flower basket pattern. They're all the same. The eight napkins are number three, 
$8. Number three, $8. Okay, a few more items here. We have a vintage apron. I don't know why I was zoomed in, but I was, and it was very close. You can see the detail on that apron. I'm trying to get it up close for you. This is the back, ruffle pattern. Um, there is a pocket, I think. This side's a fake pocket. This side, of, yeah, this side has a real pocket, and the other side is just like a, a decorative pocket, if you will. This beautiful vintage apron. is seven dollars, number seventeen. I remember these from school. See if you do a vintage Bermuda bag with an extra cover. Do you remember these wooden handle bags um, and these um, covers just button on so you could switch them out. There is an extra cover inside here so you can switch it if you wanted to go a little bit more preppy. This one's in beautiful condition. This is what it looks like front and back see the inside here and these again just button on and off this one has I think they are double-sided so you may have this flower pattern on one side and then the navy on the other and then you do get an extra cover here in the um, tartan color the green this one does have a little bit of a hole um, so somewhere on this one um, but you could probably, I don't know if it does go all the way through, so you would almost have to, to patch that, but it does come with it. A little freebie we'll add inside. Um, definitely use these purses back in the 80s. I remember these in junior high. Um, beautiful handle. So the vintage Bermuda bag with extra cover. Is fifteen dollars number sixteen. Fifteen dollars number sixteen on the Bermuda bag. Next, we have the enamel bowl set. Here, you're going to get two bowls in the set. One of them has a lid. One does not. Um, these bowls here are about six inch, six inches in diameter. Um, they are enamelware bowls with a red rim. They have this nice like bubble groove here um, so when you stack them they do stack inside of each other very nice um, this is the one without the lid nice um, enamel this is the one with the lid the lid's in very good condition as well it does fit them both I would say the one with the lids in a little bit cleaner um, condition but the lid does fit both and they do stack up nicely. Um, so the enamel bowl set is number 21 and it is $15. Okay, up next we have the Pals and Gals uh, gift card set here. It is an adorable little box here. Um, they're all occasion cards and envelopes. Cute box in great condition and the cards are inside here. Let's go through them real quick. I won't open them all up, but you'll be able to see um, some of the detail on. These are unused cards. Probably from the 1950s. It's neat that they have, um, they have stuff inside too and on the back. 
so you can see. I'm just kind of showing you the back on them, but there's stuff inside as well. A little hard for me to show you, but you can see on that. This one's one of my favorite ones here. Little kitty cat. Quite a few in here, and then you have some envelopes there. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you're getting ten in the box, and of course the adorable. Uh, boxes included so the pals and gals uh, card set is number 22 and it is $35 all right up next is a Lou Rankin Wilford plush piggy um, he's a big guy here he does have his mark on his foot here it does say Lou Rankin he is the classic if you know Lou Rankin he they have a specific look in their eyes and this guy definitely has it his name's Wilford. Um, he is adorable, plush piggy. Um, he has these very sad eyes. He's just chilling. Um, you can see, this is a 12 inch ruler here, so you can see his size um, from his tail all the way um, to the tip of his nose. You know, he's probably about 17 to 20 inches, I'm guessing. So a bigger guy. He is so cute. Um, again, his name is Wilford by Lou Rankin. I'm not sure the age on him. If he's, uh, I'm guessing he's probably from the 90s, but he's in beautiful condition. He looks like he's been stored away. Um, I didn't really see any issues with him at all. Really nice that he has that marking on his foot. Um, again, Lou Rankin, Wilford, plush piggy. He's number 15 and he is $10. So if you want a, a little piggy to cuddle with, um, he would be a good option. Again, if you saw anything you were interested in, please be sure to email me, sweetadeline at aol.com. Um, three E's and sweet. Your information, I will need that if you've never purchased from me before. And if you saw anything you're interested in, you can claim it by just putting the number. So if you wanted uh, Wilford here, you would put number 15. Um, and you can put the dollar amount too if you wanted. And then the first person to claim by the number wins that item. Um, and then we will get them shipped out. So hopefully you saw something fun. I do want to remind you that after my sale here, you want to hop on over to Southern Siren Vintage. She is next. She's the next step on the train. So uh, make sure you get your seat on the train, hop back on and head on over to her channel next. Um, she's the next one in the hop sale here. I sure did appreciate you joining me um, today for the sale, and I would appreciate it if you um, followed me on YouTube, Instagram. Um, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up to still trying to get over a thousand subscribers, so any help I can get is greatly appreciated. We also have these fun stickers. Um, they are $3 each, so if there's any interest in a Sugar Bridges sticker, we can add one to your order. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful Mother's Day. And I do have sales weekly on Thursday nights on YouTube, 8 p.m. Eastern, so stop on by. Maybe you'll find a treasure or two you're interested in. Thank you so much, and you have a wonderful day. Bye.